Hi, uh, this is a early 1900s radio opticon postcard projector that I thought I would share with you folks. Um, I, I collect, like, uh, I have a little projector collection, and I've got this one maybe three months back. And I had a little idea, I had a whole scenario set up with uh, Caligula and stuff, but I decided not to do it. I'm just going to go straight forward. I think I'm going to retire Caligula and the other clown character. They, um, I don't know, they might come out later. But uh, for now, I'm just going to show you my early 1900s. A postcard projector and it's called a radio opticon um, turn it around here um, you can kind of see in there uh, originally this probably took uh, the Edison type light bulbs you know the really old ones um, and this one also has a new cord on it. Um, I have the original cord. I, uh, it's in one of my boxes somewhere. But it was one of those um, the end of the cord looked like the end of a light bulb and it would screw like into one of those ceiling. I don't know if you watch the old movies or anything. Sometimes they would screw uh, things into the light socket of the lamps or or uh, lights that were on the ceiling um, but this has a new cord for nowadays you know so you don't get all electrocuted or something it has a couple it, it works on a, there's two light bulbs inside and they are mirrored you can't really see this video is dark but um, uh, it takes postcards put the postcards in a frame like this you can radio opticon a picture machine that should be in every home there's a little advertisement this was on the back of the advertisement. Somebody selling, a, I guess it's, I guess you could buy uh, shotguns and boats in the catalogs back in the day. <laughs> anyway, um, but this is a postcard projector. As you can tell, it's called a Radio Octacon Picture Machine for postcards. And it has these two little chimneys on top. I guess it would let the heat out. Uh, some of these old projectors used to use kerosene lamps inside here. There would be kerosene lamps inside here and you would light them and the smoke would come out of here. I mean that just shows you kind of how old it is. And it has this big giant lens which is removable if I can get it out here without breaking it here we go here. and that's a big giant lens look at it and this would project pictures for the people this was their entertainment back in um, way back in them days and um, I guess um, for the next thing I, I will just kind of show some pictures and I might come in at the end and show y'all or talk some more uh, enjoy the Radio Opticon postcard projector
I know you probably can't see it real clear, but that is um, Betty Page. It's a Betty Page postcard. She was a pinup girl. And this is a projection through the not early 1900s Radio Opticon uh, 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 projector. Betty Page, she was a popular pinup girl, I guess back in the 40s. And this is a postcard projector. I guess this would get the guys all worked up back then, probably. <laughs> uh, and all that. And there's one postcard. There's another postcard. It's a postcard of Frank Sinatra. You probably can't really see it too well. But where I'm at, he's, he's like uh, standing at a Mexican divorce lawyer, I guess. <laughs> And in the, in the in the doorway, um, the letters are backwards, you know. Uh, I guess that's the way this is projecting, or that, or something. But um, that's old Frank right there, the chairman of the board. And that's the second postcard. And here is the post, the third postcard projected from my Radio Opticon postcard projector. I'm sure you all recognize this famous picture of Albert Einstein. He was a really genius. Few people know what he's thinking about. You know, kind of a crazy character in this picture, but he was a real genius. He hardly had any uh, schooling. I think he actually got kicked out of college or something. But that's the third postcard. And I thank you for joining me uh, and looking at my Radio Opticon. We're just going to close with some old 78 music. Oh, why must the night be so long and so blue? And why must I always be thinking of you? Oh, why have I loved you so many long years? And why can't my memory wash away with my tears? I'm trying my best to sleep. These lonely nights are weak. I'm all right through the day, but when day goes away, I'm crying myself. Love and return. 
It just doesn't matter to you so it seems That I can't forget you, not even in dreams I'm trying my best to sleep Each lonely night I read